Irina Sabalenka beat Jessica Pagula in the U.S. Open final at the Billie Jean King National Tennis Center 7-5, 7-5 on Saturday. The number two seed prevailed over the number six seed in a tight, edgy match full of momentum swings and key moments. Pagula put Sabalenka under serious return pressure, but the Belarusian came through that, and the scar tissue of last year's defeat to Coco Gauff on Arthur Ashe Stadium, to take the match and the title. It is Sabalenka's first U.S. Open title and her third Grand Slam title overall. She is the only women's player to hold two Grand Slam titles simultaneously this year, having won the Australian Open in January. Going into the match, two of Sabalenka's main concerns were a hostile crowd and Pagula's ability to hustle and get returns back into play. In the first set, these two fears combined. Pagula produced an extremely effective returning performance, and the crowd feasted on it as she played on its energy. The combination seriously unsettled Sabalenka, and led the Belarusian from 5-2 up, to narrowly avoiding being 5-6 down. Pagula had returned well all match, breaking in the third game, by the time Sabalenka came out to serve for the set at 5-3. The American number 6 seed wasn't just returning serves that would have won the point for Sabalenka against pretty much any other player. She was returning them well, with height and spin to the back of the court, forcing Sabalenka to overpress on her first strikes. Eventually the pressure paid, helped by a crowd that rose from a murmur to a roar whenever Pagula forced a breakpoint. First when the previous point was over, and then again when Sabalenka stepped up to the line. The serve plus one is one of Sabalenka's biggest weapons, but having to hit so many was clearly affecting her. She double faulted, and then missed a couple of plus one shots to hand over the break. In the first set, 11 of the 23 of the service points Sabalenka lost were plus one shots. In her next service game, at 5-5, Sabalenka double faulted twice more, slamming her racket four times after the first one, and landing the second serve close to the baseline on the second. On both occasions, the crowd went wild. A break for Pagula here would have left her serving for the set, and might have sent Sabalenka spiraling, as happened in last year's final against an American player. Instead, Sabalenka dug out the hold, and her reaction underlined what an important moment this was. Pagula lost the set 7-5 in the next game, but had given herself an excellent chance of winning it, returning so well that she chipped away at all of her opponent's insecurities, which would come to the fore in the second set. 